Hi. <laughs> Paige, you're wearing less makeup than usual. Yeah. Um, my boyfriend dumped me. <laughs> so... I do have a lot I needed to do today though, and this is one of the things, and I don't like change, change of plans or anything at all. So although it's probably stupid that I'm filming a video right now and heavily masking, this needs to be done today. So I wanted to make a video where I'm on camera at the least amount of times as possible. And please just be easy on me go uh, for a little bit. Then you can build in me later. What I want to do is show you guys how I set up this planning app that I, you guys may or may not have heard me talk about it if you've seen it on my TikToks, but it's called Timo. One of the big reasons why I use Timo so much is because I am hyposensitive to interoception. So interoception is one of the body's senses. It's the sense of knowing what is going on in your body, kind of the way that your body feels. Things like feeling tired, feeling hungry, feeling thirsty, feeling pain, feeling sad, feeling happy. All of those things are interoception. It's a way of your body telling you that something has changed or something needs to go back to baseline. A lot of autistic people struggle with interoception or they're hyposensitive to interoception. This can be hard to regulate our bodies. When it comes to physically, that can be especially dangerous. Let me give you some examples. I don't feel temperature that well. So in the summer, I could go outside wearing way too much clothes and overheat and get heat stroke. That has happened multiple times. I have a very high pain tolerance. I could get hit in many places and not even know. I also don't feel hungry or thirsty. So that can be hard when you're a human being who needs to eat and drink. I also spent like the first 15 years of my life being very constipated. I know, sorry, but everyone poops, okay? We all are human beings that have digestive systems. Horrible stomach aches all of the time. And I also would pee maybe once every two days. I just don't feel like I need to. <laughs> a lot of those things that my body should naturally tell me, I need to be reminded of when to do them because I won't. And especially in this time of my life where I'm uh, very depressed, if I don't plan out when to do everything, I will lay in bed all day and not do anything. That's very not good. So I thought I would show you a lot of things that you can do with this app and that we plan out a day together. Also, if you guys are interested in checking out Timo, I will have links down below in the description where you can find Timo in the app store. I will let you know though, Timo is not free. It is about 20-ish dollars a year in Canada. I think it was like 22 or something. For the whole year which i think is worth it i would pay for that for a planner for the year anyway and i really appreciate how timo sends you alerts when it's time to do something so you're not sitting there all day and defying what you've written down it's like actively telling you what you need to do i also like how timo comes with a bunch of already pre-made activities and routines timo does not have any ads they do not sell your data i think that they are super super good it's the cheapest for what they can do for being such like a small business i want to give you the heads up that it is not free but i think that it's worth it of course timo is not just for people that are autistic it's also for people with adhd other neurodivergencies or just anyone in general if you want a really good planner that's going to let you know when it's time to do something See you for you. Okay, I love you. Oh my god, hi, is this working? Oh my god, hi. This is my laptop, or pff, this is not a laptop. I'm gonna show you some things that I do with Timo. This is Timo right here. Give her a click. So here's my little, this is the me section. Here's the my day section, which clearly I haven't done much planning. As you guys can see from the screen, I have the bathroom and medication, and I do have that every single day. The bathroom is the first thing I do when I wake up. And then my second one here is medication. Take my medication every day, 9.55 to 10 a.m. And I'm not going to change that because I do appreciate those reminders. Lately, I've been not feeling it. You know what I'm saying? Lately, being broken up with is just so trash that sometimes you just can't plan. And so here's my tip. Go into here add the little plus. Now you got some activities. Here's what you do. This is uh, mor morning. Let's just morning. Okay. Let's put an emoji. Uh, we'll use a little icon. What's a morning look like? Look in the mirror. And the color is pink, obviously. And I'm going to add a checklist. And this is where things get fun. So in the morning, things that you have to remember to do. Eat breakfast. Yep. Put it in the checklist. Next thing. I have a dog, so I'm going to take Mace outside. Perfect. Then I'm going to change my clothes. And so then I can add a time. So if I add a time, I think that all doing all these things is going to take me about an hour and 15 minutes, okay? I'm sure that this will likely start around 9 in the morning. So I can save that and I can put that in and I will upload. If I go into my little folders, 
I already have a routine which is going to show me what getting ready before work looks like. So I'm gonna set this getting ready before work. I'm gonna add a time and that time, if it's 40 minutes, is going to start at 11.20 in the morning. So then I'll have everything set by the time my clients get here. So I'm adding that in before work. And so this is already what I've already made up for a routine for what I do specifically for work, but how you make a routine, you can add any kind of activity. These can be activities, these are activities I've already done. You add them in, plop them in, and then you can click on multiple activities and add them into a routine. But also what I can do, because I know that I have my first clients at 12, so that's gonna be all set for 12 o'clock. And then my next client is at 1.45 and I have a half an hour space between 1.15 and 1.45 to get ready to do cleaning up in between. So I'm gonna set this for 1.15 p.m. and it's gonna go to 1.42, I guess. That's totally fine, half an hour between clients. I'm gonna add that in. That makes sure that I get everything I need to do in between clients, everything is clean, I optimize my time as best as I can. When I have an hour break in between clients, it's a little different, I can take my dog outside and do things. But I wanted to show you some other things that Timo has. So these are activities, these are some activities I've already put down, but Timo also has its own activities, which includes a lot of basic things, which is honestly really, really, really nice. Wash your hands, lunch, coffee, tons of stuff, homework, reading. I don't know whose homework's taken 10 minutes, boy. Household chores, buffer time. This is something that's very important, having some time that you set specifically so that if something goes against your plan, you have time for it still. I fully, yes, you do need that. Timo also has routines that are already pre-made. So I don't know what this is. Cool. They have a lot of pre-made routines here. Morning routines, evening routines, bedtime routines. Super awesome. But it's also easy to create a routine. All you have to do is create activities first. Then you can select the activities and then create a whole routine off that. But basically, this is what my, my day is going to look like. And then I'll also plan for the night. And so I really enjoy checklists. So I'm going to add a checklist here. And so my night routine is going to include brushing my teeth. It's going to include pajamas on, putting them putting them on. It's going to include, so I am currently writing, writing a book. So it includes writing my book. And let's make a little emoji, a stuffed animal. Yes, yes, I do agree. And it's pink because that's my favorite thing. So if I add a time, I think that it's probably, it's probably gonna take more than an hour. I would say I'm gonna start winding this down at about 8 p.m. And I'm going to end and fall asleep around 11 p.m. is usually what I do. Boom, boom, boom. All done. Nighttime checklist. So I am done work tomorrow at 5 p.m. So when that's done, I'm going to add a routine, my routine of finished work, which is going to happen at 5 p.m. Beautiful. So I have an hour and a half. And it shows all of my things, just including what I have to do at the end of the day, really simple. Then I have that hour and a half of buffer time in between 6.30 and 8 p.m. where I'll probably be eating food. Now that is another thing that I usually don't add because I'm stupid. But I know that I eat every morning when I take my medication. I know that that's when I have food. And oftentimes I do not eat throughout the day. Um, until it is dinner time and my parents make food. So those are really the only two times that I am eating and I'm drinking water in the morning. I have, I drink a tea in the morning and I always drink water at the end of the day just naturally is something that I like to do. I really appreciate the checklist option. I think that that's a really good thing to have. I have a TikTok checklist for what I have to do for TikTok. It's a lot of just what I do for work, which if you guys didn't know, I'm a lash and brow tech, free time social media, makeup, take me outside. I have lots of things that I've used, things to do while I'm in town. Honestly, I think the checklist helps me out the best. So then that way I kind of have a little bit of leeway. I can decide what I want to do in what order. Cause sometimes, you know, you get a little defiant and you're like, I don't want to do that. And you can go through and check them off as you go as well. And my favorite thing is it'll tell you right now what's going on. So this is, um, my nighttime starts in five minutes and I have to go through and check all of them off. I love that I chose a tie bear. That's my favorite thing ever in the world. They send all of the things right to my watch. So let me show you what my watch looks like. So here are all the things for me to do. And then this is what's happening right now. 
So this is my nighttime routine and I go through and I can check them all off. It's really nice to have it come to my watch because then it will alert me when it's time to do things. So this starts in four minutes, but it's letting me know that it started now if I want to do anything early. So yeah, that's what that looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that this helps you out and make sure that you check out Timo in the link in my bio if you want to know more. Uh, I love you guys so much and I will see you later. Thank you. Bye.